my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be diving into the new Morphe 35G Bronze Goals palette. Not Bronze Golds, Bronze Goals. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and jump on into it. So to start off, I'm going to use my P. Louise base. And I'm just going to take a dab of it. should use a mirror. This is not the No Mirror Makeup Challenge. Next, I'm gonna take my Shadow Shield stickers, and again, I just cut it in half. Okay, so here is the palette here. I love, like, the packaging on this and how it's, like, totally, uh, like themed out with the bronze, like the bronze uh, theme, <laughs> summery theme. You've got the bronze goldy shades with this bright orangey red neon color. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of go off of this for my inspiration. I'm totally not wearing the right jewelry for this. We might have to change that later on down the road here, but this is what I'm working with. When you open it up, and you do get the plastic, clear plastic with all the names on it. My one gripe about this, which is my gripe with every single palette that like ever comes out, is where is my matte bone shadow for my brow bone highlight. So I can't live without that. So I'm just gonna go in, just gonna grab my can't live without palette here with all my Viseart and Natasha Denona shades and all that. And I'm gonna go into this white shade right here. And I'm going to take my M24 brush. I'm just going to put this right under my brow bone to kind of help pop it. I put self tan on last night and it's looking like wham, real bright. <laughs> Can't take the silver jewelry with this look. So the first shades I'm going to go in with are sandy and deserted. And I'm going to use my JH30 brush to do this. Okay, I can't take the silver earrings with this look, so hold on, I'll be right back. Outfit change. <laughs> I'm back. I put on like my bronzy earrings with my bronzy necklace. Yeah, does that work? I feel like that's a little more uh, cohesive with the look I'm gonna go for. So, get my swig here. Boom. Now I'm gonna grab this color right here called Necked. Nicked, nicked, nicked. I don't know, but I'm gonna use my Morphe M441 brush. One thing I've noticed a lot with this palette is it pulls kind of more orangey. Hopefully that makes sense. I think you'll see more when I start using the shimmers. Now I'm gonna take my M433 brush and I'm going to mix tan up and heat wave. I want this to be pretty smoky. So I'm kind of tapping this on first and then distributing it. Now I'm going to take my JH uh, 40 brush. <laughs> I'm going to take this color right here called Burnt. It has like a slight like glitter to it. It's not a shimmer, it's like a glitter. I'm going to take this little glass palette that I have here and then I'm going to grab I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the P. Louise base and I'm gonna take this M705 brush. It's got the point to it, so I like it for cutting the crease. And I'm just gonna pick some of that up and start carving out my cut crease. Uh, 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 uh. 
And my husband's getting called to work. Choo-choo. Chugga, 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 choo-choo. Okay, so now that I have cut the crease, trying to decide which of these like gorgeous shimmers I want to go in with and kind of like pulling towards like these nether regions, the nether regions. I'm going to grab this one that's kind of like almost a greeny gold and it's called So Golden. And I'm going to take this M210 brush and I'm going to start packing this on. I'm kind of hoping, I mean, I have to, I feel like I'm having to build this up. But once I do, it's got some pow. Boom, boom, pow. Same brush. I'm going to go in with soul and pop this more on the inner corner. I'm curious to see if this even has like a different-ish vibe. It has, definitely has like less green to it. Uh, it's definitely like more like a yellowy gold, this one. Now I'm going to grab Rays and same brush. I'm going to pop this more out here on the outer edge. I just think like this, kind of giving like it a little more of like a 3D kind of vibe. Yeah, because this definitely has more like orange to it. Interesting. Okay, so it goes like yellow, green, orange. Okay, same brush again. I'm going to go in with 101 degrees, not 98 degrees, 101 degrees. I still love 98 degrees. I wish they'd get back together too, that would be legit. And I'm just going to put this out here right on the edge. Now I'm going to take this M515 brush and I'm going to go back in with Nicked, 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 and I'm going to just ever so slightly take that right along the edge of that cut crease. I feel like this just helps to make it pop. Cause no matter how much I build that color up in there, once I do this, it's just like, it gives that extra little finish touch. I don't know what that hand motion was. I'm just going with it. Now I'm going in with this M326. I'm going to go in with this kind of black color called Deep End. And I'm going to use this to kind of line my lash line. And now for one of the most satisfying steps. Remove the tape. So now I'm gonna move on to face. But I'm going to like zoom through my face routine. So I'll see you as soon as my foundation and brows and everything is done. And we're ready to work on the eyes again. <laughs> okay, so now that face is done, brows are on. I do wanna add one more little pizzazz to this because this is what I was looking at as I was finishing up my face and thinking it was missing. So I'm gonna take my Urban Decay um, Heavy Metal Liner and it's in the color Midnight Cowboy, of course, the golden one. And I'm just going to take it and align it along the top part of this cut crease, just to give it a little extra oomph, because I think it needs it. I feel like that totally just took it to a whole other level and I'm all about that life. Okay, so now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the JH38 brush. I'm going to go between tan up and heat wave and just work this right onto the lower lash line. And I'm gonna take this brush with some of that neat I'm gonna take the JH43 and I'm going to go back in with Burnt. Uh -uh. This 
gonna throw on some mascara and my false lashes really quick. The lashes I'm using today are just two pairs of Ardell Wispies. I've doubled them up. So now that is on, I feel a little more human-esque. I still feel like I'm missing just a little something extra on the on the eyes. So I'm gonna grab my Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter and I'm gonna pop this right on the inner corner here. I'm gonna take it a little bit onto the inner part of my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go back in with that heavy metal glitter. I feel like it just needs pop. You know? Okay, yep, that's what I want. Now that we are to this extent, I feel like very oof, fiery, but my face is very flat. So I also got the bronzer from this collection and I am obsessed with this bronzer. I got the color Icon, which is the lightest color. If you're pale-ish, like even, that, even though I'm like 10 right now, this is so, it's still deep enough. I don't know what words I was looking for for that, but it's still deep enough. So I'm taking my JH02 brush and I'm just going to bronze up the face. I was watching Jaclyn Hill's favorite video and she talked about this bronzer and I agree with what she says in that it reminds her of this Marc Jacobs but I feel like the Marc Jacobs is a little more cool toned than this one. They're like very similar but this one's definitely got more cool tone in it. Because I put this on and I'm like, whoa, I am bronzed. Not a bad thing though. And now I'm just gonna contour a little bit. I'm gonna take my JH05 and then these two uh, contour colors from Makeup Forever. So I just picked up a couple of blushes on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I got the Coral, the Peach Love, and the Pink Passion. I kind of feel like Peach Love is where I should go, right? Like that is more like vibes of the packaging. So I'm going to take my JHL4 brush, and I'm actually going to kind of mix the light shade with the deeper, sh the deepest shade. Yep. Good choice, right choice. So now I'm gonna set my face. I'm gonna use the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. And in order for this look to completely match this packaging, I need to up something else, right? No, first, I need highlight. I'm going back in with the Rodeo Drive highlighter. I'm gonna take some Trophy Wife. Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife needs to go there just a little bit, just on top. Like the Trophy Wife on top. I mean, I don't like the trophy life on top. That got awkward. I mean, I do. I'm dropping that one right now. <laughs> so now that the eyes are done, we are highlighted. I actually want to take these out so I can look normal-ish for a hot second. I'm going to grab my Morphe lip liner in the color High Maintenance. This isn't like a red, it's like an orangey red. Neon-esque orangey red. Like, make your lips 
or make your lips, make your teeth like super bright. Okay, now I'm going to take this buxom like lip gloss liquid lipstick kind of situation. It's like long lasting. Ooh. It's called Kiss and Tell. I love these. Oh, it's almost like two pinky coral. I don't know. I think I can make it work. Wow, that's neon. And it's on my teeth. I'm gonna rock with it. I'm gonna roll with it. I think it's working. Definitely is super bright. This is a loud look. That's crazy lipstick. You don't like my lips? Wow, I barely <laughs> touched you. <laughs> you on your teeth. You get a kiss on the forehead. Love you. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so now that this lipstick has stuck on for a hot second, I'm feeling a little better about it. At first I was like, oh my gosh, that's so bright. I've never really, I haven't really worn this. I bought it last year during, or no, I bought it this fall, I think it was, during the 21 Days of Beauty, because um, they were like 50% off, and I bought a ton of them. Um, and I was like, this is going to be such a fun summery color. Here we are. Wow, super, super bright. You saw when my husband just came in here, <laughs> he like would not kiss me. And then he kissed me, and then what did he do? He kissed my face. So I had to go back and do some touch up work. Shame on you. You know the rules. Not okay. <laughs> That's what husbands are for, right? So this is the finished look. I definitely say my goal of kind of replicating this packaging was very successful. And I'd say that my goal of replicating this packaging was pretty dang successful. I think if anything might set it off, it would just be like the gold, the glitter is a little more golden as opposed to bronzy. But I mean, it's still pretty golden on here. It's definitely more the bronze. but whatever that's besides the point so if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a big ol' thumbs up leave any comments requests questions anything down below I love to talk to you guys go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell join the Allian clan and I will see you guys in the next video bye what the f was that turning into a squirrel <laughs> bye You been eating mommy's lipstick? Did you give me a kiss? <laughs> Look at you. Yes. I got mommy kisses. Uh-huh. <laughs> so good.